Few players in North Dakota's D1 era had a way of getting the home crowd going like Carson Shanks. Brown cuts to the basket. Shanks went up and blocked it away. The seven-foot center from the Twin Cities didn't always put up huge numbers, but he had a knack for big moments, especially during UND's run to Big Sky regular season and tournament titles in 2017. I made a lot of great memories here. Won a couple Big Sky championships, you know, brought some life to the Betty, played with you know, some great players and was a part of some great teams here. After helping UND reach their first NCAA tournament in program history, Shanks had one season of eligibility left. But instead of closing out his college career in Grand Forks, he opted for a change of scenery. It was a really tough decision uh, to leave here. I was, you know, I had really kind of built a home here. And, you know, I just knew from a basketball perspective, I was kind of looking for a new, I guess, challenge for lack of a better term. That new challenge would come at Loyola Chicago, one of the traditional powers in the Missouri Valley Conference, but a place where playing time would be anything but guaranteed. Loyola Chicago was a team that I saw that uh, I really thought had a potential to do great things. You know, I didn't get the time there that I did here at UND, so that was, you know, at first that was, that was pretty tough. That was tough to, you know, sit on the bench and just watch. That's something I had never done before. Despite a lesser role on the court, Shanks would still help his new team reach and then exceed similar heights as his old one, playing his part in a 32-win fairy tale season that culminated not just in a trip to the big dance, but in a march to the Final Four. It was just a buzz the entire season. You know, we just kept winning and winning and winning, and you know, all of a sudden we're playing in front of 75,000 people in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. You know, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. To see how you know how a country just kind of got behind us, and you know, every game we'd win, the bandwagon would get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. You know, it helped to have Sister Jean. It was amazing to see what basketball could do for people as far as you know, kind of giving people something to believe in. After the Ramblers' dream season finished one game shy of a national title appearance, Shanks signed on with the pro team on the Mediterranean island nation of Malta, fulfilling another lifelong dream in the process. You know, I got to travel around Europe, play basketball, look at things, and see new things. It was amazing, and I know for the rest of my life I can say, hey, I played pro ball. You know, at some point, I was, I was being paid to play basketball as my profession and learned about a new culture, learned about new people, got to experience new things I never would have over here, and, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for the experience. After finishing his first year of professional basketball, Shanks returned to the U.S. this past December in the hopes of getting back into the college game. He turned to one of his old mentors for advice and received a job offer. I've always known that I wanted to be a coach. You know, I was very lucky uh, to play for Coach Jones. For anyone that wants to get into coaching, he's a great guy to learn under. He works his tail off. To his credit, I, I transferred away from here and he gave me a job. Uh, that, I think that speaks volumes to what kind of guy he is. That A guy that, you know, in theory kind of left him out to dry, he was willing to take me back with open arms. He brought me in, gave me responsibilities right off, right off the bat breaking down film, you know, helping out with anything I can. It's been hard work, but it's been awesome. As UND's video coordinator, Shanks now spends more time in the film room than on the court, but he's happy to be a part of the game nonetheless. All just another step in the Apple Valley Natives basketball odyssey. I'm pulling everything out of this that I can, whether it's from, bas from a basketball perspective, from relatability to players. I'm looking to take whatever I learn here and whether it's here or wherever else would be willing to give me an opportunity. I think my time here will help. You know, I, I would love to stay around Grand Force as long as possible though.